Hey friends, Stephanie Sinclair here, ordained minister, neurophysicist, and the person that helps you make sense of manifestation out of the woo-woo factor and bring it straight into science. I am a lover of both. And today I am going to share with you why it's possible to manifest anything you desire in life. Today, I'm going to do a topic that is not always my favorite topic, and it's telling you why it's possible that you can manifest a specific person. I want to give you the science, the spirituality, all the pieces behind the why it's possible, and even why I don't particularly care for it myself. Stick with me. Okay, guys, so if you've been following me for any amount of time, you know I'm not a big fan of manifesting a specific person. There are many, many reasons that I'm not a big fan and I'm not going to go into them today, but I want to share that just because I'm not a big fan of it doesn't mean it's not possible. Not only is it possible because of how powerful you are, it's probable that you will manifest a specific person if you know how to consciously manifest. And so today I want to share with you exactly why it's possible, even with all that we have that people think would stop you, such as, da -da 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 -da, that's, that's my drum roll, such as free will. I hear, hear people talk about all the time, free will, people have free will. And here is a reality that I have said in other videos about topics is that in your reality, no one has free will. People have to play the, the role that you have assigned to them within your life. So before I get into that, I'm going to share a little bit about how manifestation works so that you'll know why it's possible for you to manifest this specific person. So our brain is in two different, I'm going to try not to make it too sciencey. We have our conscious and our subconscious mind. Our subconscious mind is where our deep beliefs lie. How do you know what those deep beliefs are? Because they play out in the conversation you have and they play out in the experiences that's taking place in your physical life. Your subconscious mind is what the dominant mind is, even though most people think it is the conscious mind. Now, based upon what your subconscious beliefs are about a thing, those subconscious beliefs then send out uh, specific frequencies out into the world that literally calls in the matching frequencies. It's like a puzzle piece. So if there's a puzzle piece here and this puzzle piece is a magnet, it is calling the match to it so that it can connect. That's what happens. So whatever your belief system is, your physical 3D reality is a representation of the match of your subconscious belief system. Now, let's get back to a specific person. If you can rewire your brain and rewire your belief system to believe that your specific person is yours, they're your husband, they're your wife, they're the mother or the father of your kids. You guys are married, you live in an amazingly beautiful home, you wake up to them every single morning, they lean over and they kiss your face. You can feel them touch your body, you can feel them making love to you. You see yourself eating breakfast together, eating dinner together, traveling together. And not only do you see it, you literally feel it with your being. And it start out in the conscious mind, but your subconscious doesn't know the difference between reality and what's not reality. It only takes the programming. When you get a picture of something so much so that you can fill it with your being, when you imagine yourself making love to this person, you fill it with every part of your body, every part of your being, every part of your emotion. Your subconscious doesn't know if it's actually happening or not. All it does, it clocks it as this is the reality. Once the subconscious locks in, this is the reality and no other reality exists. Remember the subconscious has to call in the matching 
um, 3D reality. So if your subconscious believes this is the reality, the signals, the frequency, are then em emitted from your body out into the universe. And things began to dismantle and reorder to bring you the exact thing that you want. Often when you read about manifestations um, from spiritual teachers, well, people will tell you all the time, don't mess with the middle. And the reason it's don't mess with the middle because the middle doesn't even matter. Middle doesn't matter. What's happening in the meantime doesn't matter because the only truth is that you are with that person. You sleep together every night. They wake up every morning and they kiss you. You eat dinner together, you eat breakfast together, you go on vacations together, you live together. They kiss you good night and you do it all over again the next day. That's the only truth. So the middle doesn't actually matter. And in that one truth, every single moment of the day of your knowing that the frequency is being sent out from your body. Now, we can't see this frequency with the naked eye. Now, as a physicist, I can tell you that there are machines that you can be hooked up to, and we actually can see the frequencies that's happening. So when it comes to science, we can literally experience the frequencies that's being emit emitted from your body with the naked eye. And as a lay person, you can't see that. But it's actually a frequency that's being sent out. The person who's your specific person, that's a complete match to that which you now know as your truth. Whatever is happening in their life, they are going to be so drawn and so attracted to you that however the universe has to reorder to make sure that that match literally locks in with you, it's going to happen. Again, imagine you are the magnet. You are the magnet. Well, not even imagine you are, you're the magnet. You're the magic, you're the magnet. And as the magnet, you have embodied the person who is the partner of this specific person. And your magnet is on, baby. You have been spending so much time with your specific person. There is no doubt in your mind, you have not let 3D even, even pull your attention for one second. So your magnet is on and it's turned on high beam. It's literally on high beam. The person, they can be in another state, another city, a town, another country. They will find a way to connect with you. They cannot have your phone number. They cannot know where you live. And they are going to find a way to connect with you because your magnet is turned on. And what happens when a magnet is on? It's literally calling in the match. And if it have to rip through other things to get to you, to get to that match of the magnet, it's on. Now, here's where people often fail with this is because you do all that work to really lock in that belief and something happened in the physical 3D reality that pulls your attention. And when it pulls your attention, all of a sudden you are now conscious and aware of the 3D reality. When you are conscious and aware of the 3D reality, what is happening with your magnet being on high beam, all of a sudden the beam starts lowering. And no longer is the beam on high beam, it's on low beam. It might even be off. And so that magnet that was on and working to pull your specific person from wherever they are with whomever they're with, it's now off. And so they're back into the normal routine of what they're doing. And now you're so caught up in the physical 3D reality, you have to work to get in that space again of seeing, feeling, and knowing that this person is yours. And then it pulls it back on. And what happens is most of us can't keep the magnet on long enough. But if you can allow your frequency, your magnet, your, your subconscious frequency to stay on high beam long enough, you are going to draw that person in so quick, so fast, so quick your head is literally going to spin. And actually, this is how it works with everything from your specific person to money, to careers, to children, to whatever it is, homes, travel, whatever it is that you want. You are the magic and you're the magnet.
So that's why it worked is because as you began to shift your belief system, your frequency now rises to match the new belief. And as it rises to match the new belief, your high beams are on. The magnets turned on and it's calling the thing in. And when you turn the magnet down for that thing, by default, when you turn the magnet down for the thing you truly desire, the magnet is up for the thing you don't want. So now you're pulling in the not having them again. So it's not, oh, well, the magnet is off, so I'm just not doing anything. No, 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 no. It's the complete opposite, the contrast. The contrast is what's turned on. I talked about contrast in um, my last video. The contrast is what turns on when you, what you want is turned off. So the goal is to stay in the high beam. The goal is to stay in the high beam and the magnification of that which not you desire, but the truth of who you are and what you have. And with that, that's how you magnify, call in quickly your specific person. When it takes a long time to get your specific person, it's, it's the, you're not staying consistently in the high beam of that which you desire being turned on. And when it's turned off or turned lower, the lack thereof is now turned on. And so it's this constant push and pull with the universe. Your specific person is coming to you. It's working through all the things to get to you. Oh, you turned your magnet down. So that means what you've turned on is the lack thereof. So now they're going back to being without you. And it's this constant push and pull, push and pull constantly. And so the goal is to stay in the having of them now. We know that I am not a fan of specific person. I am a fan of knowing who you want without a name or a face to it. Because oftentimes who we truly desire, we haven't met yet. And we typically only want a specific person because we don't believe there is anybody else who exists who can love us as much to that level or that we can love anyone. So what we're believing is, is the lack thereof, which is why I personally don't believe in attracting and manifesting specific person, but you absolutely can. Because you can manifest and create anything you want. You're the God of your reality and everyone has to bend to your reality. And so I want to loop back around to when I first started and when people say, well, what about free will? In your reality, everyone has to bend. Every situation has to bend in your reality. Because you're the God of your reality. As long as you know that and you know that you have the power and you understand how that magnet turns on and you know that as long as that is your man or your woman, that they're yours, you don't doubt it for one second. And so that never gives the time for the magnet of the lack thereof to be turned on. I hope that makes sense for you. So you absolutely can manifest a specific person. You absolutely can. I don't do it but you can do it and it works because you are power. You are powerful and no one has power in your reality except for you. If you enjoyed this, send this out to someone. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. You like it, you hate it, whatever. Let me know. Till next time, it's Stephanie Sinclair.